Imagine never being able to eat your favorite foods. Never again enjoying a chicken dinner, a hot dog, or even that first cup of coffee in the morning. There are many people who are unable to enjoy these simple yet life-affirming experiences as they are affected by dysphagia, the term used for swallowing difficulties. Approximately 13% of the population may be affected by dysphagia at some point in their life. And with increased longevity, it is becoming an escalating problem. Let's take a closer look at the process of swallowing within the human body. Swallowing is a reflex that involves a sequence of involuntary muscle movements. Normally, when food leaves our mouth and enters the pharynx, our body, through nerve endings, determines whether it's air we're inhaling or a solid that needs to be swallowed. Solid food creates a sensation of pressure that relaxes and closes the epiglottis and the vocal cords, and the food is then safely swallowed down the esophagus. But for those with dysphagia or any swallowing difficulty, this sequence of muscle movements, for any number of reasons, such as a stroke or accident, becomes impaired. To make swallowing easier, their food must be pureed. But when many foods are pureed, the liquid often separates from the pulp. Thinly pureed foods lack the bulk and consistency to adequately trigger the swallowing reflex. Food moves so quickly it can't be controlled by dysfunctional muscles, and the pressure of the swallow forces the separated liquid down the throat and into the lungs. This is called aspiration. Thick and easy, the leading food thickener from Hormel Health Labs is specially processed to thicken pureed foods and liquids to promote safe swallowing in people with dysphagia, and it thickens without altering the taste of the food or liquid. Thick and Easy is a modified maize starch made from non-genetically modified ingredients. The modification simply enlarges the particle size, which then stores the liquid and thickens the product. During the swallowing sequence, 98% of the liquid is released, thus preventing dehydration and reducing the risk of aspiration. Both nutritional information and recommended consistencies are listed on each package. Since Thick and Easy doesn't contain any vitamins or minerals, there is no limit to the amount that may be used throughout the day. However, a healthcare professional should always advise the required consistency. Liquids need to be thickened to prevent aspiration in the dysphagic person. Thin liquids like water can be difficult to control, especially during the swallowing sequence. By using Thick and Easy, you can modify this consistency to varying viscosities. To demonstrate, we'll thicken three fruit juices. The appropriate quantity of thick and easy to use should be advised by a healthcare professional, as it varies depending on individual requirements. Again, recommendations can be found on the back of the package. The first consistency is achieved by adding one scoop of thick and easy to 100 milliliters, or four ounces, of fluid. This is commonly known as a nectar consistency. Thick and Easy is mixed into the liquid using a whisk or fork. This will disperse the thickener and prevent lumps from forming. It is very important to remember to use a whisk or fork for mixing, as it can be tempting to use a spoon for both mixing and scooping. A dampened spoon used for measuring will affect the thickening properties of the product. To achieve optimal results, the drinks need to stand for one minute. The thickening process starts at the bottom of the cup working its way evenly throughout. The second consistency, or honey consistency, requires one and a half scoops of thick and easy to 100 milliliters, or four ounces, of fluid. Once again, let it stand for a minute. To ensure variety, you might offer the patient a choice of hot or cold drinks, such as coffee, carbonated drinks, or even alcohol, all of which can be thickened using thick and easy. It is important to remember that a thickened fluid will stay on the person's tongue for a slightly longer period of time, stimulating the taste buds. In some instances, this will intensify the taste of the drink. Here, the patient may prefer a slightly weaker or diluted drink. Finally, the third consistency is mixed using two scoops of Thick and Easy. This will thicken to a spoon-thick consistency. The product is once again mixed using a whisk or fork and left to stand for one minute. At this thickness, the juice could be served with a spoon, almost like a pudding dessert. Following the standing time, you can see the various results. From a thin liquid like water with little control, 
to liquid with a single scoop of thickened easy, there is already a visible difference. The thickened juice now coats the side of the cup. And although it is still in a liquid form, it can be poured with greater precision. If the consistency needs to be altered, additional liquid can be added to thin the drink or more thickened easy can be added to thicken. The second cup contained one and a half scoops of thickened easy. This is now a much thicker liquid, giving the patient greater control while swallowing. Finally, with two scoops, the drink is now in a semi-solid form. When ingested, these thickened juices will be broken down by salivary amylase to release 98% of the liquid, thus preventing dehydration. Following the minute standing time, the consistency of each drink will be retained until consumed. When using Thick and Easy with milk or milky products, such as may be the composition of a nutritional supplement, special actions are required. Pour the supplement or milk into a large container, then whisk for about one minute until a froth appears. Then add the recommended amount of Thick and Easy, following the recommendation of the healthcare professional or refer to the guidelines on the package. Continue to whisk until the product is completely dispersed. Then pour the mixture into a feeding cup. At this point, it will still be a smooth, free-flowing liquid. Allow the drink to stand for one minute before serving to the patient. Like the previous liquids, such as juices, following the standing time, you will see a noticeable difference in the consistency. This thickened, milky drink now has a safe consistency for the dysphagic patient, thus reducing the risk of aspiration. Once you are familiar with thickening fluids with Thick and Easy, you can use the thickened fluid to prepare snack food items. These foods are usually avoided, as they are rather dry and difficult for the patient with dysphagia to swallow. Examples include cake, bread, cookies, and cereals. To change the consistency of these foods, you first prepare a soaking solution, or slurry. To make a slurry, add one scoop of Thick and Easy to 125 milliliters, or four and a half ounces, of a liquid such as a fruit juice or vegetable stock, depending on the food being prepared. Once mixed, use the slurry immediately to ensure the liquid absorbs into the food. Here is an example of how to prepare a normal sponge cake for a person who has difficulty swallowing. Dip the cake into the slurry and place onto the serving plate. Use a fork to poke some holes and pour over additional liquid to ensure that the solution soaks completely through the cake or other food item. Items prepared using the slurry are easy to make and will increase the patient's nutritional intake. This is due to two reasons. First, the improved visual appearance and variety of foods avoids taste fatigue for the patient. Second, the slurry directly provides additional nutritional intake. Following soaking, the food needs to be refrigerated for a minimum of two hours. After this time, a normally dry, crumbly food like sponge cake will have its texture changed to a smooth, uniform consistency, suitable for the patient with dysphagia. By using a slurry, savory items such as sandwiches can also be prepared. This slice of bread has been soaked in a solution and left to stand for two hours. Remember to use a freshly mixed batch of slurry immediately. If left to stand, it will be more difficult to use as it thickens and a layer of thickened solution will remain on the top of the bread after it is soaked. This not only affects the consistency of the soaked bread, but also visually diminishes its appetite appeal. Once the food has been soaked, place it into the refrigerator for a minimum of two hours. Foods can be prepared in advance, but should be used within a 24-hour period. When removed from the refrigerator, you can see the appearance of the foods has not been altered. Here is a sandwich made with soaked bread combined with a pureed filling. This sponge cake is accompanied by pureed fruit. It now has a smooth, uniform consistency, but it still has the visual appeal of normal food and an increased nutritional profile. By using a slurry created with Thick and Easy, patients can now enjoy and benefit from a variety of snack foods. 
People with dysphagia are usually presented with foods such as pureed vegetables. The food may be scooped to help improve its visual appeal, but in most instances, the liquid separates from the food pulp. This is very unappetizing and increases the risk of aspiration. The method used to puree solid foods is very important. Fruits and vegetables should be pureed using only a small amount of additional liquid. This will provide an improved consistency and reduce the nutritional dilution. Place the food item in a food processor or blender with the additional liquid and begin to puree. Continue until you are sure the pulp has a smooth consistency. Immediately, you will see the liquid start to separate from the pulp. Over time, more liquid will separate, creating the watery, unappetizing pureed food you saw earlier. This separation can be avoided by adding thick and easy to either hot or cold fruits or vegetables. Simply mix the correct amount of thick and easy as indicated into the pureed vegetable or fruit. Use a whisk and blend until smooth. Like the thickened liquid seen earlier, it will reach the optimum consistency after standing for one minute. After standing, the pureed and thickened food will have a uniform consistency, such as this potato example. This can be easily scooped and holds its shape on the plate without any liquid separating from the pulp. Once thickened, the pureed carrot can also be scooped, and you can see it retains its height and shape without any separation, even when heated. To prepare meat, poultry, or fish to an appropriate consistency, a number of steps should be followed. Place the cooked meat into a blender without any additional liquid. Process the meat until it is very finely chopped. Now add a small amount of liquid stock to the bowl and blend. You may need to add a small amount of additional liquid. However, this should be done gradually to prevent any lumps from forming. Continue blending until a thick, smooth paste is achieved. Add the recommended amount of thick and easy and blend until the product is evenly mixed. Here is pureed chicken meat, which has been prepared using this method. Notice the smooth consistency similar to creamed potato. Again, there is no separation of the liquid, and the meat may be easily scooped or formed. Although simply scooping thickened foods onto a plate improves their appearance, we can now take this one step further by reforming the foods into their original shape using food molds provided by Hormel Health Labs. Using the mold saves time and really improves the visual appearance of the meal. Available in fruit, vegetable, meat, fish, and poultry shapes, they are reusable and can be cleaned in the dishwasher. The mold should be sprayed with a little oil before filling with thickened foods prepared with Thick and Easy. For vegetable or fruit molds, pipe or spoon the thickened food into the mold, then spread evenly. Using the molds can prevent wasted food. A full tray can be prepared, frozen, then used in as small amounts as may be required. Once filled, the molds should be covered before freezing. Freezing is important for the fruit and vegetable purees as they cannot be removed from the mold unless they are in a solid form. Once frozen, they can be stored in the freezer like any normal cooked foods in accordance with the manufacturer's guidelines. Formed and frozen foods of all kinds can easily be removed from the molds and placed directly onto the serving plate. Or if you are preparing large quantities and wish to reduce storage space requirements, use freezer bags. After pureeing, molding, and freezing, remove the individual food items from the mold, place in the bag, and store in the freezer. Remove and use as required. If the food is meant to be served hot or warm, simply defrost and reheat. With pureed food thickened by thick and easy, there is no liquid separation when thawing or reheating. You may either use a microwave or a conventional oven. If using the molds with meat and poultry, simply place the thickened food directly into the mold. However, 
Unlike the molded fruit and vegetable foods, it can be inverted and removed immediately. They do not need to be frozen unless you would like to store them for later use. If you wish, the meat can then be covered with a thickened sauce. Meals prepared in this way can really encourage patient consumption. They see normal appearing, appetizing food that doesn't collapse into a watery pool on their plate. Retaining the height of the food also ensures it retains temperature and most importantly, for those with dysphagia, that it has a safe consistency for easy swallowing. Another simple yet appealing presentation technique can be created by using the food nozzles also provided by Hormel Health Labs. By piping items such as pureed pasta or even mashed potato, you can create a visual texture. In our example, this spaghetti pasta is accompanied by a thickened tomato sauce. The foods that can be prepared for the dysphagic patient are endless. With Thick and Easy and the variety of molds available, you can easily serve nutritional and appetizing meals to those who have difficulty swallowing. And the patient will still have dignity while enjoying their food. Hormel Health Labs has a range of items to support the implementation and use of Thick and Easy. There are handy hints and patient's guides to name a few. For more information about Thick and Easy or any other Hormel Health Labs products, call, fax, or write us. Or visit our website at www.hormelhealthlabs.com.